been asked to talk a little bit about the history of BHS. Um, this is, I believe, my 18th year here at Broadhead High School. I was lucky enough to come in uh, to Broadhead the year after this building was opened up. Uh, so I came in like 97. Um, so the school was brand new um, when I first came. Um, Broadhead does have a pretty rich uh, history of, uh, of academics uh, and also with athletics and activities. It's been a strong uh, school. Uh, some great people have, as you can see from the Wall of Fame, you can get a little history of Broadhead High School and some of the um, outstanding alumni that have graduated from here and the things that they've done. Um, some of the background of some of the people that you would see up on our high school Wall of Fame uh, come from a very wide variety of activities they've been involved in. Many of them have been um, related to the medical field, whether things that they've discovered, researched, uh, we have some, or at least one person up there that has done um, stunt activities and things like that in uh, major motion pictures. We have uh, one professional football player on our Wall of Fame, um, and our very own Mr. Peterson is on the Wall of Fame as well for uh, his academic success as a student here at Broadhead High School. Broadhead High School is a great place not only to uh, work for me, but it's also a great place for our students uh, to learn, to grow, uh, and to get involved. So um, I can't think of a better place to be than Broadhead High School. I've been here at the schools for uh, close to 30 years. I substituted when I was first out of college for about four or five years, um, and then I came to the elementary school there for at least 15 years and then here at the high school for another time. Uh, I am in my sixth year here at Broadhead High School. Four years. This is my 14th year. I taught one year in Verona and um, I came here in 2001. I'm Mr. Huffman and I am one of the math teachers here at the Broadhead High School and this is year number four for teaching at this high school. I've been working at Broadhead for 14 years. I really enjoy working here. The people are great. Um, the staff is very supportive and we have a really uh, cool mix in our student body. Broadhead is a really unique situation. I think that the community is so supportive of their schools and to work in a school that is supported by all the parents and uh, alumni is, is pretty cool. I don't think that's common in a lot of communities, so I think that's what's the best part about working in Verona. I love working here. Um, it's so much better than my first job um, in Verona and I feel like if I had another job I wouldn't be a teacher anywhere else because I would never compare to um, my job here. I love working at Broadhead High School. I think we have a great staff right now, great administration, and really great, great students right now. We have really good senior leadership and junior leadership and some good underclassmen too and a lot of programs going in the right direction. Um, we're very strong academically right now. We're very strong with our music and our sports and it's just a really nice climate, climate to be in right now and happy people, happy students, happy teachers. It's like I'm working for Simon Cowell. Somebody's got a frowny face. I enjoy working at Broadhead. There's a good cli climate. Uh, the teaching staff gets along real well. The students do a good job, and most times are pretty good. Okay, so obviously the kids have changed throughout the year, but they've always been very nice and inclusive and respectful. We've always had really good kids here in Broadhead. I would say we've gotten a little bit smaller over the years. Um, when I started, I think we had over 400 students. Um, now we're down in the 320s um, because of that. Our staff has also uh, been depleted a little bit as well. There's been a lot of changes in this department, and most of it has been the accumulation and acquisition of a lot of new tools, equipment. It also affected the curriculum and the projects that we get to do. Specifically, technology has really exploded. We have a lot of um, all new computers that Mel does a good job with our software, our printers, our digital cameras. We know have a dark room, um, as well as new wheels, uh, the glazes, the metals and jewelry tools. Most of that is due to fundraising and just being really careful about managing our budget. I've gotten fatter, balder, and more gray hair. Uh, over the years I've seen a lot of teachers come and go. I've seen many students come and go, but it just keeps rolling on. My favorite thing about Broadhead is the people. and it. It's the school here, like I, I said earlier, 
We have great staff, and great students, but just the community in general. There's a lot of people in Broadhead that are just happy people who are, who are doing things they want to be doing and just a great community to be a part of. My favorite part about Broadhead here, um, you kind of get to know everyone. Um, you know all the students, uh, all the staff versus a bigger school where you might only know those students that you see uh, in your classroom. I love the staff. I love having good friends on staff. Um, I love the students. They are always so nice to me and my family. Um, yeah, it's just great. I like it when the light bulb goes on in the students. So uh, just basically, uh, that's one of the things I got into teaching for is students who struggle sometimes, every once in a while the light bulb goes on, you see it, and it's great. I like the Spanish and math departments. It's definitely the students. I enjoy fully the students that walk through that door and are here to work and learn. I really enjoy seeing how much they progress this class here. That works on the wheel from the beginning of the semester to now is just amazing. And that's the best part of my job is seeing how well uh, they're able to do things. I'm Walters, I'm currently a senior here at Rotary High School. I'm in 11th grade. Hi, um, I'm Caitlin Moline and I'm a senior at Broadhead High. And I am a sophomore here at BHS. My name is Malachi Marquette. I'm a sophomore. Hi, my name is Holy Wildich. I am in, currently in ninth grade freshman. Hi, uh, my name is Pagali and I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Malia. Uh, I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Dylan Cooley. Uh, I go to Broadhead High School, obviously, and uh, I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm a senior at Broadhead High School this year. And my history of BHS is my brothers have gone to school, all my brothers, and they're all, their names are Matthew, Anson, Tyler, and Trent. They've all went through the Broadhead school system, so I'm pretty familiar with BHS. Um, I, have been the ten I have been living in Broadhead for almost my entire life. I've always been a part of Broadhead school districts. The history of BHS, I've been here all my life. I mean, I've lived in Broadhead all my life. It's a great, it's a great school. Um, I was born in Mexico, but I had to move because my family decided that they wanted to move as well. And because my dad found a job here, so we all had to move. I moved to Broadhead because when I stayed in Madison, we were staying with family and we needed to hurry and get out of the house fast. My favorite thing about BHS is probably how many electives that we have. Me being in yearbook and me having all my friends around me. My favorite thing about Braddock High School is probably the band and music program. It's just being with all the people and being like free and being able to do whatever you kind of want. And my favorite thing about Broadhead would have to be the sports and all my friends. Hi, I'm a <coughs> Mr. Knuth talking on behalf of the Broadhead Judah football program. Um, we made another run. We had lost to Bigfoot in our conference game during the season. And then we beat Bigfoot to go to state in 2010, which was a great feeling. Um, we, I think it was like 34 to 20 or something like that. But uh, we handed them a defeat, and that was the first time in a long time that we, before we had beat, it, beat, uh, beat Bigfoot, to go to state again in 2010. So those are all victories that will always stand out. One thing that we're very proud of is our uh, track program. Um, I know in my few years here, we've won a number of track conference championships and we've gotten quite a few athletes to state as well. Uh, right now, basketball-wise, we are tied for uh, third in our conference. Um, we're hoping to, to move up and, and, and do a little bit better here as the conference season plays out. Accomplishments this year was a great season. Um, we uh, accomplished again. We finally beat uh, Bigfoot in a conference game, which ended, uh, I think it was a seven year span where they went undefeated in conference, and we finally were the team to beat them. Um, and then we ended up winning conference with Clinton, so we were cold conference champs, which was a huge accomplishment for this year's squad. It's been, uh, it was 11 years since we have done or have been a conference champion football program. Um, basketball wise, uh, we're in a stretch of our season where we're really uh, hoping to, to steal some wins from some teams, um, improve our conference and overall record, and then uh, hopefully get a regional win.
Um, as far as track is concerned, last year we won a conference championship. We'd like to do that again, uh, as well as get as many athletes as we can to the state championship. Um, current happenings um, for the football program, it's uh, for the kids coming up, and you know, it's their uh, it's their team now. It's this year's juniors. They uh, they they have the keys to the Cadillac. They have to take and. Uh, and it's their program and what we do next year, it's on their shoulders. And from what they do now to August is gonna be very important to this year's program. So hopefully they all get in the weight room and get bigger, faster, stronger. Future aspirations, hopefully uh, next year we can win another conference championship. I believe we can do that with hard work in the off season and uh, be coming together as a team. That's very important as Everyone has an important role and they understand their role and um, do everything imposs possible that, to fulfill those roles. And that's what I look forward to next year is seeing how we grow as a team and fight for a conference championship, keep the playoff record going and see where we can go from there. Uh, some of the new things that we brought when uh, we came here, um, one of, the, one of the main questions I asked the outgoing uh, band director, Mr. Stefan, I said, what, what big things should we change? And he said, the uniforms are very outdated. They're 33 years old. If that's something down the road you could get, uh, that'd, be, that'd be nice. Uh, some of the other things that we changed, um, we spend a, we, we've done a lot of uh, time marching band. We, we added more to the, the show than what we've done before, and, and some things like that. Um, uh, we trimmed back a little bit on jazz because jazz was a bigger thing and that's not really my strength. Um, and then we put a little more into the marching and pep band stuff like that too. So those are some of the new things. Uh, as far as physical new things that you see in the band room over the years, new chairs, some new percussion equipment, um, just stuff that needed to be replaced throughout the years. Um, and the, the new thing that we got this year, if you come in the band room, it really has helped us uh, as far as space-wise, because we are kind of cramped, are the instrument storage companies that have really helped a lot. So those are some of the new items that you've seen over the last few years. Things that we kind of have kept throughout the years that are really good traditions. One of them is one of my favorites is that we've kept the same marching cadence that was written by Mr. Stefile. I think that's really kind of a, a neat way of paying tribute to. He taught here for 30 years and it's kind of a neat way to pay tribute to all of his hard work and kind of setting Setting the, setting the foundation and, and just letting the band program keep growing. So that's something that's one of the old traditional things we've kept. We've always participated in the Cheese Days Parade every other year because I, we feel that's a very important part for this area. Uh, and it's important for us to be there. We perform in the Memorial Day Parade, in the Fourth of July Parade, things that, things that have typically been done, the band has been seen at. So we feel those are important things to be at. Some of the concerts that we put on or performances that we put on have, have themes. And if, for instance, our halftime shows always have a theme. And this year's theme was love songs. And we did pieces by, by Paramore, uh, Still Into You, uh, old classic Elton John tune, uh, Your Song, and Pink Just Give Me Your Reasons. Uh, the, other, the other performance that usually has a theme is our holiday concerts, where it focuses on more of the wintry and holiday type tunes that you would hear at that time of the year. In March we kind of wrap up our, our, some of our, our concert band season with my favorite concert of the year. It's the Development of Bands concert, which features all the bands at Broadhead. The fifth grade band, the sixth grade band, the seventh and eighth grade band, and the high school band. They all do two pieces that follow a theme. This year's themes are uh, is centered around the elements. And each group is going to do some pieces and then we end the concert with uh, a giant mass production of everybody playing one march together. Last year's highlights for show choir was making finals for the first time in five years and seeing all the students get super excited and cry. Victories. We got and second runner up this last weekend and we got best show band which has never been done before at Broadhead High School. So congrats to everyone for that. Disappointments I would have to say, uh, all the drama. This year's show is awesome. It is the most fun and energetic show that anyone will ever see. So come watch us. This year's goal is to get best vocals at a competition and also to get grand champion. Also, I want to see us make finals at every competition. Yeah.